for example, the Bamboo River community in St. Thomas has experienced flooding as a result of the Bamboo River overflowing its banks due to heavy siltation at home. As I indicated in the press conference on Friday, the cabinet would be further analyzing the data from the health authorities. As a result of that analysis and review, the COVID-19 cabinet subcommittee met earlier today and agreed the following measures. Greetings, 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 free people of this earth. Greetings, free people of the Commonwealth of Jamaica. Greetings, free people of the American island of Zamayaka. Miss Noma, Jamaica. Greetings, Awak, Indian nation in America. This specific society. Greetings, free people. Now, on your holiness, I can say you're wrong. You're wrong. Because I'm listening to this public announcement. And I'm here to rebut any claim you and your holiness are making on behalf of the government of Jamaica and by extension your foreign principal, whomever and wherever. I, Nestorian King of this American island, rebut your claim on behalf of the enslaved people who are totally unaware of their enslavement. I rebut the statement is only the Governor General can come address the people and implement any kind of rules over the people. Because the very Governor General, who is head of state, has amended the supreme law that should govern this area according to how it's structured, which is a charter of fundamental rights and freedoms, Constitutional Amendment Act of 7th April 2011. This specific document forbid you and your holiness or any organ of this state to take any action that will abrogate, abridge, or infringe upon the people's fundamental rights and freedoms. So you are wrong on your holiness trying to enforce any kind of policy upon the free people. You're out of order, sir. You are out of order, sir. The island-wide curfew time met earlier today. We have 45 persons isolated in government facilities, and he will give us a more comprehensive report of damages and uh, the actions that the NWA will take to mitigate and to repair. Now, the Ministry of Health and Wellness has announced already. The Ministry or the Minister of Health and Wellness, you right now is the culprit going to be placed on that altar Uh, you as a health minister need to come and explain to the public about this this ease give us full disclosure about this this ease we're going to prepare some questions 
specific questions where you, health minister, you better can answer because you better have scientific data to present to we, the people, and show where whatever policy is being implemented will stop the spread and avoidance and is the cause of whatever proof that you have presented. So number that come to us, Andrew Holiness, and I call up some little titles of man and woman. It not impress us. You are in the wrong, and you are wrong, and you are doing wrong. Yeah, man. Remember, I show a tape with a cruise ship, and that is just one tape with one cruise ship. We don't know how many cruise ships are come here every other night, come party and then leave. You understand? We are not aware of these things, and you in that office is aware of it. So we need full and complete disclosure along with an independent forensic audit of all activity or activities of our public servants, including you and your wholeness. And yeah, we know you put a portion of things in our trust, so we know you're good on that side. But when it comes on to the public, we need some explanation, we need some honorable clarification, and we need to know who, along with you, will be held responsible for the total degradation of our society, for the total and complete oppression of our people. And your holiness, are you not a man as I? Where did you get your authority to go in front of the public, giving a public notice? Sir, where does that authority came from? Could you please answer me this question? I know you're education minister, so you must have a little education. Who gave you that authority? To stand in front of the people, to speak, giving the people notice. Wasn't that authority derived from the people? Would you answer that, sir? And if the people delegate a little of their authority to you, do you think they do that for you to bring them hurt and harm and to do wrong, to bring them injury? I don't think so. That delegation of authority from the people is for collective security. And when it chose not to secure the people, which is obvious, then the people have a right to remove that presumed authority. So we, the people, renounce and renege all contracts made during infancy cannot govern us as a people without our consent. And we as a people, I'll speak on behalf of the people who cannot speak for themselves. Because you know you didn't teach us to read and write properly. The education system that is forced upon us is incomplete. So I rebut your claim and, and we choose not to delegate our authority to no foreign power in no capacity. So when you talk about lockdown, when you talk about disaster, risk, management, act, who does it apply to? Even when you're a citizen, which is the presumed slave, whether I'm administered via the juristic person, even those class of people have rights. Even those class of people, they need their consent to enslave them. That's why people say we are suffer because suffer mean you can do something about it and choose not to. Hence, you're suffering. So this is why the statement says my people suffer.
voluntarily I got through hardship because them can do something about it only through them lack knowledge. And because them lack knowledge, you have these foreign entities trying to take advantage of our people. Government of Jamaica, none of your acts apply to I. If the order we are issue, Prime Minister, now have the Governor General's signature on top of it, something else is happening because the Governor General's signature is on the Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedom as amended 2012, 2011, my correction. And I didn't say your initial there. So who gave you this right to abrogate, to abridge, and to infringe upon the fundamental rights and freedoms of the people, of we the people? I'll tell you who it is. It is the World Bank. It is the IMF. Go do the research. <laughs> your puppet for your international principal, your foreign principal, and your oppress the very people that you claim to be a part of. This is why I said check your bloodline. All skin folk is not kin folk. You're proving that under oldness, sir, they don't like to be pampered, they don't like to, you know, be fluffed up, they don't like titles. So me give you this title, sir. Because we are always honorable and we are always respectful. But I'm saying you're wrong on your oldness. Yeah, man. And you know you're wrong. You know you're wrong. We're not here to disclaim that there's a virus out there. Because it's no different from in ancient time when they brought the chicken pox and the small pox and all of these pox to our land, it never stopped. They come back with this huge AIDS. They come with the Ebola. And then they come out now with this corona. And I remember in 2017, I was talking, say, yeah, they're going to come with something. And I remember Ian was the one who started that. Said, so these people are planning something huge. I think it's the next strain of the Ebola. But them just switch it up and call it Corona. And here it is, where them are totally changed the environment. They're letting you know it will never go back to what it was. They're putting in place, you know, say, instruments and policies to remove your fundamental rights and freedom, which is inherent, which is unalienable, which was bestowed on you, endowed on you by the creator of nature. Now, here is this man, this little man. You get me? With a dire power over his face. A issue out public policy, not public law. Public policy, because public law consists of the Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedoms. There is no other law here, everything else is policy. And you have a right to do all different kind of things. But they are removing those rights from you, saying you have none. And if you sit still and don't rebut these claims, then you're acquiescing. You're saying, yeah, we agree. 
Well, I am here to rebut the claim. Whether it goes here or there or absolutely nowhere. I'm on the record saying I rebut the claim government of Jamaica. If people choose to stay in, that's their own free will choice. But if they choose to go out, that's their free will choice. Yeah, man. You can take a little now and then tomorrow. You take a little bit more and then tomorrow. You take a little bit more and then when you come now, you have to watch ya. We not even ask you no know, more. You know. We have to watch ya. This is what it is. And the people should sit still. Only because they think they want to go back to Africa. Only because the people think they are Africans. The moment they wake up and realize that they have always been here and this is their home and you guys are the foreigners here, then everything shall change. With the blink of an eye, it shall change. Yeah, man. So you're wrong. Prime Minister of the government of Jamaica. You're wrong. You cannot keep imposing these oppressive regulations upon the populace. And because you have a standing army, you have to tell grown man what to do and what not to do. When you are just a man, you're no god. You're not even a, a, a saint. You're just a politician. And when your term is up, the very same people where you are oppressed going vote your ass out of that office. And then you go and sit on the sideline and say, yes, I'm rich. But then you look at your legacy. No different from the Nazi party of Germany. When you demonize Hitler, when you really emulate Hitler. You want to murder people through paper genocide. First, you heighten the criminality in our island. Everybody talk about criminality. So internationally, people look at me as only criminals here. So now we are saying you need all kinds of rules, regulation, and restriction. Restriction of movement. We have a right to move freely. Only as citizens, you can choose to restrict. And that is if they consent to be restricted. Mr. Prime Minister, you guys are audacious. You guys are out of order, Mr. Prime Minister. However, I can only address the free people of this land, the free people of this earth. So I said, the people I'm with, Know them a slave and know them a good citizen of the government of Jamaica. And know Andrew Oldness is right when he ma put on all kind of restriction until them said, Bring your underage children to us. That's when someone go say, Huh? What did he say? History will repeat itself. You know, reading the Bible. Where the man was sitting in the seat, like where the Prime Minister sitting in a send for people, children, and slaughter almost children. In a reading of the Bible, waiting is happening now. The only thing can stop what is going on now is you, the people. Now, like all oh, them say, shut down, all right, everybody inside. Make us stop up and buy a little food, some sugar, some caramel, and we have little water. And we stop up. We don't need much more than that. Little bit of sugar, little bit of caramel. And make sure you have all two big buckets of water. You see when them say after three days or whatever, open up again. People don't go to no work. People, just stay home. Don't go to no work. Just stay home. And when you say you're hungry, yeah, make the wall of the dead feel hungry. You get me? We not have to fire no gun and fight no war. We just stop participate. Non-participation with the foreign system. That is the slogan. We don't have to go out like a march. That's a foolishness. We just do our own thing. Non-participation with the foreign system and it will crash. The people that will have some things can't go share it with the ones they want to have. 
And the ones that can do a little bit of this, can't go share it with the ones that can do a little bit of that. And we can do a thing with sales. You don't need to call no government official for absolutely nothing at all. The Bible says don't bring your, 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 your problem to a stranger. And the moment a policeman stops you, what is his name? The first thing you're going to remember is this. When you did have good parents, do not speak to stranger. Them things are out the window. The moment a man stop you and think, you don't know him I'm a stranger to you, you a stranger to him, but he might ask you your name, and if they might tell you his name first, he might come and say, hi, good evening, how you doing, sir? I'm officer XYZ from such and such and such and such and such, and I would like to ascertain some information from you. Then they present themselves in a respectable manner like that. The public servants who we have them say, hey, boy, <laughs> You understand? Because for them, authority has come from a man who say I deal with government badness. And your oldness, that's you. You said them think the public, government badness. And then you want to come up here in a three-piece suit with one pad over your face and I go on like, I for respect you. You're wrong, my brethren. What you're doing is wrong. There is much better way to deal with the situation that is at hand. Way much better way than oppressing the people this way. Your oppressive stance is obvious that you work for a foreign power with a foreign interest. Nothing to do with the common folk. And that's where you're wrong. That's called treason. It's treasonous act. The moment you go against the will of the people, where you take a oath, you take a oath to honor the people, and you go against the will of the people. It's called treason because the obligation of the state is to secure the people's fundamental rights and freedoms. And the reason for the constitution is to guarantee and to secure that very protection. That very constitution is a form of protection, people. So this is why they hide it from you and now they might try to abrogate it. And unto wholeness, you know I'm right. I'm quite sure you will not send the police to come lock me up. I'm sure of that. Because you do that with the silly people. What you do now try to find some other card, get your judge to lock him up. You probably have try to tell Judge M. Say, yo, I care when you psych him. Because anytime I hold him again, oh, and this and that and that and that and that we're going to do to him. Probably that's that on the plan. But again, <laughs> When on a plan, the bigger man of everything at hand. So we take our cars to nature. So we make nature's creator to give it the answer. This is why we can call you out and do this. Uh, you were supposed to be educational minister. We used to have you as a bright youth. Yeah, young, fresh, bright youth. But watch me now. We say, so you know, separate yourself from the CIA agenda. That program, not program, but program, you haven't separated yourself from them ancient man like Henry Kissinger and Memorandum 2000. It's called Global Population 2000. Andrew Holiness, did they give my people that information? Sir, you haven't. Did any one of the cultural leaders address this kind of information like Muta Baruka? Sir, I guarantee they haven't. Well, here I am now saying I rebut your claim, any claim. You have no control, jurisdiction or authority over us as a free people here. Now, when people choose to subject themselves to your authority, I can't get in between that. I can't go mess with no man's free will. So there you go. Sir, make sure you chat to your people and you be specific. You understand? When you talk to them, if you, you know, if you just say citizen, because you have Commonwealth citizen and you have Jamaican citizen. So you need to be specific. And then you have people who is outside of all of that. You have world citizen. People who sit on front of all our own and do. And you still have people outside of all of your citizenry. 
ساعة What day is just a few for things that everybody around you are dumb? Can't read and write because you're an ex-educational minister and you, and you move like a rat bat with a piece of pad there over your face. We don't have a problem with mass. Because when them send me a prison, watch me now. Me now yo, when I go there, I go among the elder. And I notice the elder always have on the mass. And you see to me as a man, I learn quick in a people. Yeah, man, I learn quick, man. I say, how oh, the hell are those holding mass up? So I just hold my mask up. And when we discover, I say, a lock, man, I got just a lockdown in a, in a selfie. How long? With four other men, brethren. You mean, say, you're a man in a cell enough, and you are past gas, man are past gas, man have different smell. Yeah, if you have, so I have a problem with gas mask. Me always say that. Me have a problem with putting on a mask over my face when I interact with other people and things. But it cannot be mandatory. I say, yesterday I'm going to a store. Because I always have a mask with me. You know? Because from I come from prison, I realize the boy, watch me. It makes sense you have your mask. You know what I mean? But now for cars, I'm going to tell you, boy, because your mom said, can't do this or that. I'm going to the store right over Portmore, little mall here. That's that's up. Where they have a flow store right in the place. When I go at the flow store, the, the flow store, my shop for years now. Know all the man who own it. I look a young brother. I'm a Freemason too. Because when him see me, him checks him, me in the organization. Because him start compliment me and I make me know him a travel and thing and rare. And me I tell him, make him know, say, yo, yeah, me a traveler, but me not initiated, you know. And that, in feature kind of change, but I'm just interested in how I carry and conduct myself. So I have been to this place. It's in my community. However, you know the people that are working on them place, they have some minimum wage jobs, so they work for like three months, then they change them out. So there's a new girl in there now, when I come in and I tell her, I say, listen, I not try nothing political, you know? I just forget my mask. Let me just get some... And she said, no, I can't serve you. And you can't stay in the store. I say, you really not going? And she said, no, I say, all right, madam. Have a good day. I never make a scene or nothing. I just take a picture just in case. You know what I mean? But this is the craziness where we have to go through now. And it's the same thing going to happen with the vaccinated. The people that are vaccinated go and look at me when I'm vaccinated like I'm some kind of disease. I'm telling you people, this is how them create them discrimination subtly. This is how it starts. And this brother here were very wealthy. When no sir, later from now, him not go even live on this island. You understand? No, him a put in place policies we are gonna bring injury to the populace. And it is a wrong. You are doing wrong. You are wrong. Sir, I don't even need to go down in on the details with it here. I think I like a 20, 30 minutes of what a rebuttal just from my side. We don't have to even go in on a documentation. For all the people they have to do is just look at global population 2000. You get me? Research Henry Kissinger population 2000. Research these people. This is where all of these things start. Research the World Bank. Research the IMF. Research these things. You know what I mean? Because the truth is right in front of your eyes. But because these people don't teach us to read and write correctly. This is why this guy is in front of us now. And I tell us a public notice. This is where I'm going to do, and this is where I'm going to implement these policies. I, we do not accept it. And we do not consent to no foreign governance. We, the people, do not consent to no foreign governance. Stand down, Andrew Holiness. Stand down, sir. That 